Hey YouTube, ready for a shrimp room update? Stay tuned. Alright YouTube, this is Brian and I'm coming at you with the first shrimp update for 2018. Um, appreciate everybody that subscribes to these videos. If you're new um, to my channel and this is the first time you're seeing one of my videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell button so that you um, get notified every time I put out a new video. I like to do videos on my shrimp, my freshwater fish, and my saltwater slash marine tanks. So stay tuned for quite a wide variety of fish videos. We're going to start down here with the I call it the Thai B tank. There's some Thai Bs, there is some mixed whatever, um, and there's some Pinto Michelings in here that I called out of my black Pinto tank. But um, this is kind of a mixture. The whole colony started several months ago with a mixing of a Royal Blue Tiger and a Crystal, or no, a PRL. And then it just took off from there and now you're seeing all these different color varieties blah 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 i've mixed in a couple uh, some aura blue tigers which i think you can still see one or two of them as well as a tangerine tiger months back so all that kind of bloodline is in this line here and as you can see they're just breeding like crazy so really fun to watch up here is what i call my white line these by no means are pure whites. They're a mixture of pure, not pure, but solid white shrimp that came from my high grade crystal reds. There's some golden bees and there's some Taiwan bees that came out white from the red bolts that, uh, that I had. So that's kind of where you get the mixture of these. I just kind of like the solid white shrimp both these and the Thai bees. I do have enough available to sell if anybody's looking to get some. Just let me know. And up above here is the red pinto tank. Doing a little better than last month, but uh, still no breeding. You can see some spotted heads, some uh, different patterns. And um, I just threw a, a piece of food in back in the plants so they're doing okay I would just really continue to hope that these will start breeding again for me and that I can um, get things kind of turned around on this tank but we're not getting deaths or anything like that so that's good up above are the blue dreams um, I've been selling some of these lately I've still got a few um, Packages of 10 left available. If anyone's looking for some, let me know. My email's below. You can hit me up there if you're looking to buy any shrimp or plants. Um, these guys are doing good. Been breeding quite a bit. I moved a group of 10 down here to kind of start a second colony as I haven't been using this tank uh, for anything. They've been doing decent too. Um, no deaths since I moved them and got them acclimated and everything. But yeah, Blue Dreams. These are a Neo Shrimp, Neo Caradina doing well, whereas the rest of all these that I've been showing you are Caradina. This is the Savage Red line. Um, they're doing good. Uh, called out some of the ones that weren't uh, very colorful. It's kind of hard to tell with the babies what they're going to turn out to be like, so um, I've been leaving most of the babies in there unless they're very clear that they're just not going to look like this one right here I would probably call. And I've got a tank upstairs where I'm putting all my red cherry balls. This is another one that I would call out. But anyway, yeah, they're doing doing good, doing some breeding. Um, things seem to be going pretty good with them. This is the Blue Dream tank I just mentioned. These are my reds, different grades of cherry shrimp. I called out a bunch of the lower grade and put them in a tank upstairs so that I can Try to concentrate on making this tank more of a fire red slash painted fire red um, colony. So we'll see what happens. But they're doing good overall. This colony here has really started to seem to. Well, sorry for the algae, but 
the crystal black. So I've got babies, you can see them in there. Not a ton, but things seem to be hopefully turning around for this colony. And I can expand it. But for the time being, uh, we're just happy that they're healthy and eating well and doing a little bit of breeding. So that's what I can tell you about those guys. Move over here to the super crystals. Super crystal reds are doing decent. Haven't had a ton of breeding, but uh, the ones that bred or the, the babies have started growing out to be bigger, and the adults I had left are doing nice too. Got about 10 in this tank still, so. But yeah, overall doing good. Love the color on these guys. Down here is the mixed Taiwan bee tank. Same old story, no real breeding, but I'm continuing to just be patient and work on it and keeping things as, as balanced as I can with the parameters and everything. And hopefully I'll get back to the point where these are breeding again. Got some blue bolts, red bolts, shadow pandas, BKKs regular pandas I think so kind of gives you an idea of what's going on in there. PRL tank um, same story with them as well not doing real I mean they're not doing a ton of breeding but there were a few babies that I saw in there. Um, there's one back on this filter right now so that's a good sign a lot of them could be hiding there's two up there actually um, could be hiding back in the mini Pelia if you're looking for mini Pelia, I got a ton of it um, right here, right here, and then down in that crystal black tank over there, I got like a huge one foot by like six inches um, portion. So let me know if you're looking and I sell it in smaller portions, but uh, shoot me an email if you're looking. As well as uh, flame moss, I got a bunch of right here um, if you're looking for some of that. These are the uh, SS to SSS grade crystal reds colony's still booming things are going real well you can see babies back there you can see babies all over the place these guys are doing real well I've got these uh, enough where I could sell some of these now if anyone's looking just hit me up and uh, again my email address is below uh, in the description area and uh, see what we can't do for you black pinto tank Called out a lot of the Michelings. Um, you can see there's still a couple non-desirable, shouldn't say non-desirable, but ones that wouldn't cut it as a black pinto in there. So I'm gonna get those couple out. And then we'll just kind of watch to see what happens. There's a buried spotted head somewhere in here. Um, I don't know if she's up front right now or not. And then there's, there's some babies crawling around. So things are going decent with that. Hopefully we can get this colony really growing too. Low grade, A through S grade, crystal reds, blooming as usual. Um, tons of babies all the time. I've been selling quite a few of these lately, but I still have some available. If you're looking, uh, just hit me up on that. Go upstairs now. There's not a ton to show you up there, but uh, I'll get every tank in. These uh, these are all the shrimp tanks in the basement. Um, if you're newer to my channel too, I keep a ton of cichlids. Um, just to give you a quick look at uh, all the cichlids. I like to breed um, South and Central Americans. Anyway, let's head upstairs. Down here are the blue bolts. Got about 10 of them that I bought from my local buddy Carl recently. They're doing okay, they're not dying off, but they just don't seem to be doing quite right as of late. Um, they're not eating very much. This is the first day I've put any food in all week and they're actually, a few of them are going for it, so that's a good sign. Um, but there's 10 of them in there. And uh, hopefully we can get this colony booming. Down 
here is the wine red tank. Just a handful of them in here. There's one right by, by the food. Um, we gotta do something to get this rejuvenated. And uh, I can see a plan area now, so it looks like that could be part of the problem. We'll get that taken care of with the, uh, I forget what it's called, but the SL Aqua stuff that I got from Eric Martin's. Good stuff. Um, up here, this is just the crystal, or not crystal, uh, the red cherry call tank. Nothing special, but there's, uh, I don't know, 20 of them in there somewhere. <laughs> And then the final tank, uh, this is the 90 gallon, used to be an Iwagumi style, it kind of still is, I guess you could call it, but um, I re-escaped it recently and I'm working on getting the Monte Carlo to grow back out, the carpeting, and I made kind of a mountain structure, but what's cool is all of these fire reds in here just love crawling all over the mountain structure now. So it's just, it's really cool to watch. You can see them all over the place. I have some Cardinal Tetras in here. They're just doing fine. They're not bothering the shrimp at all. But I'll be adding some more to this uh, tank um, as well when I can get my hands on some. These all came originally from my local buddy, Carl Johnson too. Real good shrimp keeper. Um, now reef keeper in the Minnesota area. But yeah, that's all I got for now, guys. Um, if you're new to this channel, like I say, please subscribe. Please pass this video around. Share it in different areas of uh, shrimp keeping. I'd love uh, to grow this, uh, get these shrimp videos a little bit more views than, than they have been. And also, if you keep fish and you're interested in Southern Delight fish food, I, uh, I'm a, a bulk retailer. And I sell it uh, through my company called Aquatic Support Systems. So hit me up if you're looking for some fish food. Got it for all sizes and types of fish. Saltwater, freshwater, small, big, whatever. So until next time, thanks for watching, guys. Later.